in this injection site demonstration is that we've showed where we've given injection sites into higher value cuts and what it does in terms of reducing the value, reducing the acceptability of those products. And so we're trying to encourage producers to move their, all their injections, particularly their intramuscular injections, up into the neck areas, which is why we have the forequarter of the animal right here. And so we're trying to show that not only is that better in terms of uh, reducing damage of some of these products, but also uh, it doesn't hurt the value of the carcass nearly as much. If you look at the hind quarter that's up in front, you can see that injections that were given in the muscle, deep inside the, the round, or maybe the sirloin on the other side, uh, those are high dollar cuts relative to a m muscle that we see here in the neck. And so that was the whole purpose of the exercise, was to show that, try to reduce the, in the injury to those, uh, those, those cuts. Of course, the big problem, the reason we started worrying about injection type blemishes years ago was because the audits were finding all these quote unquote cancers and stuff like that, which were basically just lesions. They weren't cancer, they were lesions due to injection sites. And so they caused a lot of scar tissue, a lot of, a lot of uh, lesions that, that just the result of injecting medications in, into the muscle and especially those high end cuts. So if you inject them, even inject a baby calf, it's going to damage that muscle enough or cause enough scar tissue that when that calf goes to slaughter 200 what, days later or whatever, you're still going to have, a, you know, you're still going to see the effects as far as tenderness, et cetera, in that calf. You know, for a long time, you know, people were used to giving um, shots in the rear end of the animal. What we really have been encouraging over probably now 15 years is to help them understand that we want to move those shots to the neck area. We move it there for the purpose of uh, keeping the animal health product and the potential uh, injection site blemish that occurs, which is just a, a fat callus that occurs inside the muscle when you give that shot, to move it to the neck so it's not in a high-priced meat cut item. And so that helps improve the value of the animal. And then also we found out that it's a very effective way to put the animal health products in that location to be able to map that, to write down and take records of what you did and when you did it and how you did it. And so you can go back and make sure that you follow the proper withdrawal times on the animal health product before that animal goes and leaves that premise. Because we all always want to make sure that there are no residues in a meat product. And our total diet study and several other studies would show that it's not there. And so one reason that uh, that has happened is because of the Beef Quality Assurance Program which part of that is withdrawal times on medicines and then also where to give those shots uh, to make sure that it's put in a place that is not a high price, high value place. You know, BQA is, a lot of it is about consumer confidence. Um, and a lot of times at the ranch level we don't see that um, because it's way down the line. But um, everything that, that we do at the ranch level, all those, those practices, those management practices, um, play a role in consumer confidence uh, when they buy that, that beef steak or that, that ground beef. Um, and so everything we do from injection sites to herd health um, to environmental stewardship, all that is part of kind of the greater BQA program. Um, and all of that affects that consumer confidence in the end. And so it's important that as ranchers we do those important things that are sometimes everyday to us, but they mean a lot to the consumers uh, down the line.